at the pools. There's street eats. These are like food truck, street eats. Time fries has a different special fry every day. Today is a buffalo tater toss. Ranch vegetable buffalo sauce and blue cheese. Now, they had Philly cheesesteak the other day and I wish I'd had that. I guess since we're here, I'm trying one of everything, at least just to try it. And I love these tables and chairs just right behind it. It's so perfect, obviously, because it's just like when you go have street eats. I like to stand, try my food like I'm at the Food and Wine Festival. Here we go, there's the tater tots. I love this here and I just went right here, right there. And someone put their empty used plate right next to my food. <laughs> the line at the other place, I don't remember which one it was, is long, so I'm gonna eat these. Plus I don't leave my table so I might get more trash. <laughs> this looks good. Remember it's a sesame chicken wonton. Lordy, that is spicy. I know these are gonna be spicy too. I wonder if it's spicy day. Mmm. Mmm. I got this again, I'd ask for extra corn. Okay, last but not least, Mad Sizzle. That's what they have. Korean barbecue beef with steamed rice. Of course, you gotta take a moment and enjoy the view. Here it is. I had to go get me a seat. Look at that. It smells delicious. I will let you know, but that line was the busiest. I literally sat down on the corner because I expected to take a bite just to try it. I took a bite and now I want to do this because that was amazing. Oh my God. Back to the room. There's nothing like a nice hot pork day and a nice cold shower or dip in the pool and then shower. And then a yummy dinner and I checked us into Chino del Capitano. And actually I'm gonna go request a window seat. This place is huge. The one I just went on, the magic. Oh my gosh. And look, there's seats outside. She says they're um, like bigger seats, four to six though. And there's space behind me. And there's all that space over there. Oh, nice. I like the curtains are here for some privacy. And I love this. So my favorite memories, one of my favorite memories was having dinner outside as we sailed away from St. Thomas. I just have a little tip for you guys. If you have the drink package and you want water, like your, your water and not the water they have here, you can get it and put it in the cup. Just brought a warm, delicious piece of bread with butter and then also mm, olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Okay, so I have three appetizers. This is the cured tuna. And it looks really good. It's pretty salad. And this is a farro wheat and chickpea thing. Okay, this is amazing. It's, it's really smoky and it melts in your mouth. This is unbelievably good. Like, oh my god, good. This is also amazingly delicious. I just don't know what these are. We're left. We're moving. <laughs> Every time we're moving. Look how beautiful. More food coming. What are you, what are you excited to do? Uh, I think they're all mine. You can just put them here. <laughs> I got food coming. I have the pistachio pasta and the chicken parm. And then we got lentils, spinach, and oh, fried potatoes. I didn't know they were, were like chips. These are sides on the menu and you can, you know, order what you want. This is a main. It does kind of actually, it's like a, a side portion on some chips. And then this, oh, look at that. Guys, I just got on deck six and there's uh, some kind of workshop in there. And it looks really neat. What is this? Carnival Kitchen, fun with cooking. Look at that. Check that out online. But yeah, this is deck six. And right, I never even walked down here. <laughs> the French Quarter and the Bistro 1596. Good morning, you guys. Well, actually, good afternoon. The a lot going on today. We are going to do so much today and tomorrow around this ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but right now, we're going to go eat, but we're going to Chibang for lunch. This bridge here, there can be some congestion there when shows are going on at night and you're trying to walk by the bridge and it's single file because everybody's just like collected watching the show. That happens sometimes. Here we go, Chibang. I did go here for dinner the other night. If you didn't see all my vlogs, go to my channel. And I'll subscribe. Click on the playlist of this cruise, Mardi Gras, and you can go in order. I did check in online. There's under a 10 minute wait. I love it in here and I'm so excited. And I loved my table the other night and I hope I have another table by the window. I did ask nicely if it's available. You can scan the menu when you get in here and it's also on your app. I believe that the lunch and dinner here is different. And also today is Cinco de Mayo. And so it's just extra special for me to come here today. They gave me a paper menu and I have the Chinese or Mexican. You just mark what you want on here. These are the pre-made burrito bowl choices and then you can do make your own. I'm gonna do make my own. 
I did my noodle roll. They just brought chips and they brought this. I hope you guys are ready for yumminess. Lots of yummy, yummy, yumminess. Good food, good drinks, lots of exploring the ship, lots of fun. Beautiful, look at this gorgeous beauty here. I got chicken and beef. I got two different cheeses. All right, so I'm trying to go up to the coaster and the highest deck that I saw right here on this side of the ship is 18 Serenity. He said 17 Lido, but it was nothing but rooms forward. So I'm going out here on 16 and they still walk up. But it's like four stories. So I don't know where the elevator is to go higher than deck 16. So in our journey today, we're gonna look for that. Cause that would be nice. Full day is hopping out here, by the way, cause it's a sea day. Up here, there is the ball core. There's the ropes course. Bolt is that a way it looks like. I did go to the pool deck, go up one level, and then had to go up one more level. So I did have to go up two flights of steps. But uh, we're gonna go in the aft here and see if the elevators go any higher, just so you guys know for when you're coming on the ship. Sometimes some ships, they have certain elevators on certain sides of ships that go to a floor too higher than normal elevators. That's the kind of tips I usually like to find out and share with you guys. They'll save you from walking around for 15 minutes like I just did. Whoa. Look at this. I don't know where to get on the coaster still. Ah, oh, so pretty. But yeah, stick with me today because we're gonna find stuff out. Like how to get on the coaster. Look at the slides. I still don't see where to get on the coaster. Oh my God, there's Chris. <laughs> I'm like, Chris, I'm lost. Look at the mini golf. Woo! Oh, that doesn't look so bad. Only because I found out from Chris yesterday after I said I didn't want to do it after all that you can slow it down. They're slowing it down and speeding it up. Somebody's so scared. That would literally be me. That would literally be me. Uh, is this supposed to light up green or red? Oh, but that means you're under three hours. No, it says green. I know. They good. Light up if it's good. <gasps> Still under 300 after five days, four days. So I'm checked and it is under the weight limit but i'm not riding right now i'm getting my nerves up but i am coming back with the kids and i'm going to ride it <laughs> so how was it it was great much faster because i uh, learned how to actually drive see that's the thing i didn't have to see you because you went so fast you were like Vroom! you were way faster than other people okay <gasps> that's because i uh you can throttle on the straightaway and boost oh. and you have to keep you don't keep your finger on the boost or the throttle do it on the straightaway and it goes. Oh God, I don't right think over. I'm gonna do it's that. <laughs> it's a hot one. And okay, so this cruise, uh, the coaster was not running the cruise for four hours and it didn't run until we were in Mexico the first day, no, it's but it has been running at sea. A lot of people are waiting for it to go at sea. So I'm going to deck six to the French Quarter. I am so excited because I am meeting friends there. It's a surprise, you'll see. But I'm gonna take the scenic route back down from the fun area, the mini golf and stuff. I'll be back to show you more, don't worry, but I'm gonna wait till the sun goes down a bit. Ugh. This time of the year, it feels like the hot, the same hotness to me, but it's just way more draining. It physically takes its toll on me way more than a normal heat cruise, hot cruise. All right, so we're going in here to the elevator bank. Some of these doors you gotta press, some you don't, FYI. <laughs> Never know. And actually while I'm here, let's see if any of these elevators go up higher than the elevator earlier. So this elevator only goes up to 16, which yes. is where we're at. Okay, deck six, this is aft, right? You can't go farther back here if you get off deck six or decks, because that's the back of the ship. But right here, you can go to your right. Can't go that way either, by the way. Tonight's elegant night, by the way. Cruise Fortress 445 1030. Palm restaurant that I've never even seen before because I haven't even eaten an MDR. The Carnival Kitchen, we saw that yesterday, I think. And then we're about to walk to the French Corner going towards the front of the ship. Emeralds is right here on your right. And on your left is gonna be the Fortune Teller Bar. And just look how gorgeous it is. Truly gorgeous. I don't even think I've walked on deck seven this whole cruise. Oh, I love this place. They're not open till five on, port on most days. But today they opened at noon, I believe, and I was so happy. The Bohemian Treat, I think it's called. It's my favorite. This is my third one. It's so good. You, you should try it. You should try it. So good. I don't even know where this entire sea day went. <laughs> it has been amazing and relaxing and the perfect sea day after the busy, hot three days in port. But it is 4.42 and dinner is in 45 minutes at Rudy's Sea Grill. Right now, I'm gonna go see the ocean again before dinner. I need my sea air, it's been a few hours, but I was hanging out with Parkers on the go at the Fortune Teller Bar. I love them, I truly do. They have my respect. 
I'm gonna link it in my description below. Parker's on the go on YouTube. And once again, this is elegant night or formal night on the cruise. So we're gonna see people dressed out. We're walking around tonight. As I walk to the room to change for dinner, I just want you guys to see what the ship looks like here. It is almost 5.30. Well, it's probably about five actually. It's been a nice relaxing day. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. It looks real. I love how there's so many places you can sit around and play games. 